Yo, what's going on guys? Sam here. Today we're checking out iOS 13 at beta 8, just seeded to developers a couple minutes ago, and it should be out for public beta testers later today. So being that this is iOS 13 beta 8, we're sitting at around 131 megabytes here on the iPhone at 10s. Obviously the changes are not going to be everywhere. We're not gonna be talking about stuff forever. Uh, iOS 13, the release date's probably about three, four weeks away at this point. So Apple's really just focusing on refining what we've got already and making it the best that they can possibly make it. That being said, what we saw in the last beta was the return of 3D touch being amazing, like faster than I've ever seen it, more responsive than I've ever seen it. These icons I think changed recently as well well for like the news 3D touch. It feels absolutely incredible. Like everything that I wanted Apple to do for it, they've done. So props to Apple for doing just that. But in iOS 13 at beta 8, I am noticing that apps appear to open a little bit quicker than they did before. So let's take a look at some. Camera, for example, opens up pretty much instantly. News, when you tap on that, like the stories are loading as the icon is actually opening. Like it doesn't actually wait like it used to. App Store, I mean, this stuff is on screen instantaneously. Even some third party apps, I feel like while they're not as fast as Apple's first party, they still load pretty damn quick overall. I mean, this is impressive guys. This is all your content showing up to you instantly without really any delay. It's pretty crazy what Apple's done here. They've been touting these speed improvements and I've showed them off before, but this is the most substantial change that I've seen in a very long time. I mean, everything, everything's just here. Uh, so I think that's pretty impressive and props to Apple for doing that. It's hard to make the phone faster through a software update, but my year old iPhone XS about to be outdated when the iPhone 11 and 11R or 11 Pro drop later in September. I mean, it's still getting faster a year later. That's, that's pretty insane and you don't hear that a lot. And I can't actually verify this one because I don't have any fonts installed on my phone, but a user over on Reddit suggested that whenever you have a third party font install app, that those fonts are now showing up in the settings app because iOS 13 does finally support fonts natively and you don't have to use a third-party app. You'll actually be able to buy fonts or download fonts from the app store when iOS 13 comes out. So obviously this is super great for anybody that works with typography. In the meantime, uh, it's just sort of cool and uh, I don't know, somewhat useful for everybody else. Aside from that, we will be looking forward to new wallpapers and sounds, hopefully. Like the sounds in iOS have not been updated in such a long time hoping that that gets updated in the GM release, likely happening on September 10th when Apple holds their uh, you know September special event, new iPhones, new Apple Watches, uh, all kinds of good stuff, maybe even new AirPods on the horizon and a new MacBook Pro. So nothing new here just yet. We're gonna have to sit through a, you know, a couple betas where we're not getting the most exciting changes. We're not, uh, we're not seeing a ton change version over version, but it's all gonna pay off when we get some good stuff and all kinds of leaks ahead of Apple September events. So in the meantime, that's iOS 13 beta 8. I've not noticed any issues with it, anything glaring. It feels really good, really fast, and I'm sure the battery life is gonna be pretty sweet as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this short iOS 13 beta update. We're on eight now. Who knows if we'll get up to nine or 10 like last year. That's all I have for you in this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, and I'll see all of you in the next one.